Hey, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the Vive Tuesday night pace setter training. Uh, really, really excited. All of you guys are jumping on. We have some really good content tonight. Uh, what I want to do for about the first 10 minutes is just really go through uh, a proper fast start training. We finally, uh, thanks to Lisa Kennedy and Amanda and, and Madison, we finally have uh, some good tools to fast start train our new people, get them off on the right foot really, really elegantly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my screen and just um, hone in on that packet and just go through it real quick and highlight what a proper fast start should be. Um, and what we're doing here is when you guys are signing brand new distributors, either with our help or if you feel confident without our help, um, we want to be running them through a fast start training. And I'm going to give you the, the short version here, but we have two versions of it. Uh, this is sort of the bare minimum that we want to be doing. So when we're talking about a fast start training, let me uh, pop this open. Can you guys all see this? Not perfect. Um, this is not, I mean, this is a one pager of what we're doing here, right? And what we want to do is obviously sign on our business partner up, right? Get on the website. I like to do this in person or on a Zoom. Um, I don't think really there's any reason it shouldn't be one way or the other, either in person or in a Zoom. And um, have them sign up on the website with you and, and get used to the functionality, right? Um, Help them get familiar with the key points of the back office. Like you don't want to go through the entire back office, but there are some key points. You know, where do you sign up customers? How do you sign up customers? How do you, how do you track your progress? Maybe some commissions, some resources, links, right? Um, one of the things that I thoroughly do, and I, I think Karen can attest to this, is I go through the products. I go right, right on the homepage. I show my brand new consultant a little bit about each product, how you might market them, how they might tie together, you know, some of our core products that we lead with, like travel, energy, uh, you know, the, the uh, home secure, we might lead with those, and then how to speak about the other products. Listen, do you, you know, now that you're an energy customer, do you, do you have AAA? Do you have any kind of a fraud protection? We, we talk about that stuff, right? Um, and then number three is probably the most important thing. And I, I, I will do a three way call with other Vive family or other Vive business partners. A uh, good case in point, when we, when we enrolled Karen, I got on the phone with both Kenny and Matt. We did a three-way call and just a little, you know, five-minute conversation about, hey, here's some other people in the family, some other resources, some other people that can, that can help you educate other people, that can help, um, you know, help you uh, explain this business model, right? So it's a very, very important that we get them comfortable with three-way calling. This is the lifeblood of this business, in my opinion. If you take a brand new distributor, all they need to be able to do is peak interest, play a video, and then, you know, get Kenny, Matt, myself, Jeff Gardner. I mean, there's a, you know, the, the, the Haywoods, you know, uh, you know, Lisa and Rust, there's, there's a million resources of other people that will help explain the business model. It, it's never up to our new business partner to explain the business model. And that's, that's the biggest, um, failure point that I see is brand new people that are, that are not brought in properly on how to really plug into an existing system of, of a family and, a, and, and business partners. So we can talk about that uh, and then ask them, right? Always ask people, you know, what do they want out of this business? Right. I, it's not, I'll tell them what my vision is, but I'm not here to put my dreams in their mind. I want to find out what do they want out of this? Right. If, if they're looking to just make a couple hundred bucks a month and to socialize and, and to generate a little bit of a revenue stream, then that's what I'm going to help them do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to even tell them about the, the pace setter promotion, right? That's not what they're looking for. Some people are just in this business to make a few bucks and socialize and, and just have a little side gig. That's perfectly fine. So make sure you're asking them what they want out of this business and then tailoring the rest of your training to help them get that. Does that make sense? So that's really important. Now, obviously nine times out of 10, people aren't starting a side business because they want to make a hundred bucks a month. Most people are looking for that life-changing experience. And if that's the case, then we absolutely want to highlight being a founder in this company. It's like being a founder in Uber, right? We want, we want to be really proficient at transferring that belief of where we are. And if you're not proficient at it, that's why you do step three, right? Step three comes before step four for a reason. You let your upline do that transference of belief. You let us share the vision. You let us ask a question about where they want to be and then let us, let us help you with that. So we can, 
we can help transfer that belief and create that strong why. And that's why step three comes before step four. Um, and here's the other part, guys. Now that they have their business, don't just send them off on their way. Sit down with them, whether this is in Zoom or in person. Help them make a list of the top 10 people they would like to go into business with. And also help them make a list of 10 people that they think might resonate with the products. Right, that maybe they're not good for the business, but these are people we, people we can help with their energy bills or their security or tech rescue. If it's our elderly, you know, elderly grandparents, there's a whole host of reasons. But we want a list, in my opinion, of at least 10 and 10, 10 customers, 10 potential business partners, and then we start text blitzing with them. Again, we don't leave them out in the cold. We teach them what to say, and we we help them send those 10 or 20 first texts right there when they start their business. Right, not a week later, not a month later. Right, we we have we have this four month window of a life changing opportunity called the founder circle. So we we are not serving our new business partners if we sign them up and just let them go off on their way and then they spend a week getting educated. You know, we actually want them to go to work, help them go to work by sending texts. And again, if you're not proficient in this, then you do it together with your upline. We get on a three way Zoom. We train your first people. We help you do that. Right. So depending on what stage of the game you're at, you either do it yourself with this, you know, with this um, process in mind, or, or we help you do it, right? Um, so get them familiar with a text list to get their business off the ground. Uh, another thing we do, guys, and I do this, people that know me, they know that I do this religiously, get them connected to some good material, right? Um, if people, if this is their first venture into network marketing, they don't know how to be a professional networker. I don't care if they come from real estate or owning a $10 million business. This business is different. Every business is different, right? This business has its little nuances. And we don't want to have people in our industry being non-professional, burning their warm market, trying to just send a Facebook post with their brand new business. And then blaming us you know, for why their business didn't work. So getting them connected to Network Marketing Pro or, or uh, the rank makers, right? Those are two very highly recommended things, or both of them. Um, we wanna give them some materials um, that will help them get educated to be a professional networker, if that makes sense, professional network marketer. So I was always giving out the Eric Worre GoPro CDs. Uh, they can get them on MP3s, but the key for me is to go to the GoPro website, which is networkmarketingpro.com, and sign up for that book. It's like a $6 book, and they will get inundated with all kinds of free training now from there you have done your part it's up to them to want to study it's up to them to want to learn about how to be a five or six figure monthly earner it's it's completely up to them to take your advice but it's up to you to give them the tools does that make sense so i'm a firm believer introduce them to eric worry um, and you can introduce them to rank makers now we want to be careful not to bury people in this first training right so i'm not going to spend an hour in eric worry's back office you know, going through this stuff, but we want to give them the resources so that they can start to build a weekly, uh, a daily and a weekly method of operation. So I might physically give them the Eric Worre uh, GoPro CDs and say, listen, instead of listening to music in your car, you know, why don't you listen to these over the next 90 days as you're building your business? So I think step seven and eight is just, you know, getting them some good information about how to build their business. And then the other core thing, guys, is, is this Tuesday night webinar. We are using this webinar to collectively build and train and coach and, and teach people so that you don't have to. You don't have to know all about tick splitting and, and tap rooting and advanced you know, um, networking skills. We come together every Tuesday night here to do it in a group. So if we're doing our jobs properly, we should all see this group grow every single week, right? I mean, when I, when I talk to people, when they become a new uh, business partner, you know, I pretty much tell them it's not really worth doing this business if you can't do A, B, and C. If you can't spend at least five hours a week, um, if you can't come to Tuesday night webinars or at least commit to watching the replays, some people have work or time zones or some reason they legitimately can't be on Tuesday nights. But, but quite honestly, if they can't do these certain three things, then it's not worth their time or yours to do this business. Does that make sense? So we want to make sure that we're not needing people to come into this business. We're looking to develop business partners. You're going to put your time in. They're going to put their time in. So, um, and then we really want to create this daily and weekly method of operation, 
right? A daily method of operation is at least spending 15 minutes a day reaching out and prospecting. We're in sales. This business is sales. There's no sense trying to say it's not sales and, oh, all you have to do is share a Facebook post. That's just lying to people, right? We are in sales. But the, the key here, guys, is we are happen to be selling things that benefit people, right? We're not trying to sell them the latest gel or patch or potion or trinket that they don't need. People are already using AAA. We're trying to show them a, a more cost-effective way. People already have home security systems. They're already looking for that. Uh, everybody has energy, right? So it's really, it's really important that you understand what we're marketing here. Uh, fraud protection. People are already doing that. We're just, trying to look in, we're just trying to take and pique their interest in a lot of different services that might benefit their life and show them how to benefit that in a package, right? Um, but we, we want to have a method of operation. If you're in this business um, and you're not doing something at least 15 minutes a day, you're not really in the business. I mean, there's no business on this earth that will operate uh, with zero time, right? So make sure that, that you have a daily method of operation and that we're teaching a, a minimum, you know, a daily um, method of operation. And then there's also a minimum weekly method of operation, right? So when I'm teaching my new people, I tell them, listen, this is a, a five-hour week business model, right? Come to Tuesday nights for an hour. We're going to text blitz live together. And what you want to do is book three to five appointments a week that are about a half hour each. And you want to repeat that for the next 52 weeks, right? They're, they're, that business model will get people um, very, very successful. So we can get into a little bit more about that. And then this packet, you can see here that we're giving people um, links, right? We want to get people registered for the Vive Updates Facebook. We do a lot of communicating, uh, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of, you know, sharing who's ranking up, you know, what's working. Uh, again, Tuesday nights, here's, here's the registration here. We want to make sure they have that. Uh, we have a great call on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. And again, if, if people can't make that, they can always listen to the replay, right? And then we have some stuff on Sunday nights that you can see here as well. Um, and then, guys, you know, we, we also have the, you know, the Vive, um, the Vive corporate in the know, right, on Monday nights. That's a, that's a great um, weekly webinar where you're, you're just staying connected to the entire Vive community. So there's a couple things that we need to do to plug into to ensure that we have a successful business. And this is really what you want to be doing is, is, is teaching this, understanding this, and, and getting your people up and running. So uh, what I want to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and unmute. And uh, Mr. Matt Payne, if you have any content that you want to add to that on, on um, what we should be doing to help people succeed in their business, uh, feel free to share that. It's uh, too funny. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the cool part about this business is, guys, it's so, you know, I've been working with Brian for quite some time now, and, and it really, the, the biggest thing that matters here is duplication, what, what duplicates, right? And, uh, you know, I want to I wanna, um, ask Karen if she would uh, unmute herself. Uh, she's new to our family here, Karen Ayers. And um, it, is it me or did I not? You and I had a conversation. We, we, we did an up call. We, we shared this opportunity with one of your uh, friends, uh, someone that you had known. But I think a lot of my conversation that I had, I think that we just heard it again through Brian. Am I, am I wrong? Right. Yeah. We, yeah. It was definitely duplicatable. <laughs> the same thing that he had said. It, yeah, but it, for me, it was great because uh, hearing it again really helped solidify it in my mind since I'm brand new. I think just the repetition of hearing it over and over gets it solidified. You know, the, the coolest part, guys, is we get to learn as we do this business, you know, um, and when, when done properly, it, it's, it's kind of magical. It, you you kind of wonder, you know, why more people aren't doing it. Um, it's a very simple model, so let's just keep it simple. Uh, let's follow the steps. Let's reach out for help. Uh, there's a lot of people on this um, webinar that I'd love to, you know, just continue to take more phone calls for, you know, upline calls. It's very important, you know, and um, I think we can uh, let's double the size of this group by next week. and. Um, go from there, you know. Yeah, that's a really good point. Actually, I got a couple other questions for Karen. I'm not to put you on the spot, but you know, Karen, where where are you from? Just so people know. I'm from Colorado. And how do you, how do you and I know each other? Are we are we lifelong friends, good buddies? How do how do we know each other? <laughs> we um, met at Masters 
at the Learn Center, or I guess not the Learn Center, but LM3 last year. Yeah. So what I'm trying to highlight there, guys, is, is when, you, when you come to these trainings and you start to study Eric Worre GoPro, you learn to become a professional networker, right? And, and you, you get contacts everywhere you go. And you learn how to peak interest very quickly with very few words um, to get in front of very high-level people. I mean, Karen is, is going to be a very high-level performer. I can already tell because I went through that training with her, and her first upline call wasn't even to me. It was to Matt, who she met on the three-way call. And I, I got to be honest, Karen, I, I commend you because I was actually like floored. I'm like, holy shit, that's duplication, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it just goes to show you, like, this is not my – my childhood buddy that's, you know, we brought into the business and we're, we're side, like, this is somebody, you know, 2000 miles away that we met once or twice. Um, right. Well, the, the, the funny thing is Brian, uh, the lady, a uh, very nice lady that she had spoke to, we had a great conversation, uh, but she wasn't even from, where was she? She was from Carolina, South North Carolina. Carolina, South Carolina. Yeah. So this business guys is all over the place. So we have someone in Colorado sharing with someone in, Carolinas, you know what I mean? And here I am in Massachusetts. I mean, it's, I, I think it's fantastic. I don't know. I can't think of a better business I'd ever want to be involved with, you know? So. Yeah. And I'm broadcasting live from Kazakhstan. So we are all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, no, Hey Karen, thanks for sharing. It's, it's, um, it's awesome to see, um, you know, they reach out to Matt and using your resources. Uh, what we're going to do here tonight is actually text splits and go through the language, the verbiage, how to do it, how to talk to people. And so, you know, Karen was sponsored just the other day, and this is, this is literally the first opportunity she had to hit a Tuesday night, and she's here. So she's literally doing everything that this business takes, um, and she'll be successful. So I, I appreciate you um, sharing that with us. Sure, no problem. Uh, anybody else got anything to add? Lisa, do you have any, any, um, anything about um, the Fast Start? Because you guys worked really hard on that, that that I missed or that you think we should add. So I think you good. guys did a good job. Yep, duplication is key. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, let's let's get after it then. This is Tuesday nights is a working training. This is not where you bring prospects to show the business. Uh, we, we have webinars like that. This is where we come together to actually work. So what I want you guys to do is take out your phones or your lists or, or your Facebook, whatever you're using. And uh, what we normally do is start with the letter A. But if you've been blitzing for a while, start with the letter Z. <laughs> And the whole idea, it's, it's 724 right now. we got about a half hour left. Our goal is going to be to reach out to at least 30 people via text. And you got to hold yourselves accountable. Now, again, we're calling this the Tuesday night pace setter training for a reason. Everybody on here is mostly committed to wanting to hit that, that pace setter rank. So we, we're not going to sugarcoat things here because it wouldn't serve you. Uh, we're here to help. And... Your side of the deal is you have to take massive action. So in the case of tonight is over the next half hour is, is to legitimately send out or even an hour, th no, no less than 30 texts if you're committed. Um, and again, if, if you're on this training and, and you're just looking for the part-time gig, uh, that's fine. You know, just like I said, the couple hundred bucks or whatever. I don't want you to take any of this um, personally because we welcome everybody to the training. And if you're, if, if you're looking to just make a little bit of dough, then just take 10% take of this. Reach out to five people tonight. Does that make sense, guys? So I want to make sure that, like I said, I'm not putting my visions and dreams in your head, but we are, we are going to run these trainings at the highest level for the people that really want to go after it and, um, you know, that are looking that, that might be up against the wall financially that really need this. Um, because trust me, and I tell you, there's a lot of people that you're going to be texting tonight that need this. You maybe think that you're reaching out, looking for them to help you, but the reality of this is most of the world is hurting. Right. Very few people uh, in our worlds are at a state where they're just like financially completely independent, completely happy, love their jobs. Right. I can tell you one thing. I love everything I do with V. This is not work to me. I love training with you guys. I love uh, helping, teaching, coaching. Everything I do for V, it's not work. I get to connect with people. You know, I signed a couple of people last week, had a beer, signed an autopilot. Like, I, I love this. This is not work for me. What I'm trying to do is, is leverage this to get out of my some of my other businesses that are more like work, if that makes sense. So make sure you put yourself in the right state of mind as we're text blitzing. We're reaching out trying to help people. Does that make sense? So what I want to do, guys, is have you open up your phones and then um, look at the letter A, 
And um, the very first person, I want you to, if you, if you don't know what to say to them, just go ahead and unmute yourself and ask and tell me a little bit about them. And either Matt or myself or Lisa will help you craft uh, what to say to them. Um, and then some of you guys that have been blitzing for a while, you have follow-ups to do. If you're at the follow-up stage and you're not getting through to somebody, maybe we can help you with that as well. Does that make sense, guys? So let's go ahead and open up our phones. We'll start blitzing. I'm going to do the same thing. It's probably going to get a little quiet. So um, just feel free to unmute yourself if you have any questions. Hey, Brian. Hey, Joe. So, yeah. Hey, we just got a nice for corporate just gave us a you know, pretty nice gift uh, with this uh, announcement, six announcements this last week too. So the time frames have changed uh, dramatically, right? So we can. Oh yeah, let me let's go through that. It's a good point because this is recorded. So one of the promotions we have, and I might miss some. So Joe, feel free to chime in on what I miss. One of the promotions we have is now through the end of July, they made this thing ridiculously easy. They 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 lowered it from one ninety nine to forty nine dollars. So people can come and get this business for $49, be paid for a year, and get their bundle for a total of $118 uh, now through the end of July. And they're going to be ramping that back up. So my understanding is that in August, it'll go up to $99. And then September, it'll go to $149. And then by the time we get back to October, it'll be back up to $199. So guys, not that we want to sell this business for $49, so don't get caught in that trap. You know, hey, it's only $49 the price of a dinner because you'll get a $49 consultant. But it is a nice tool. And the way I use this, guys, is I do my normal process. And when somebody's coming into the business, I say, oh, by the way, it's only $49. I don't, I don't really use it to try and lead people into a $49 business. Um, one thing that I will do, if I have somebody that their interest has already peaked from a couple weeks ago, I will reach back out. And if they said, listen, Hit me back up in a couple of months, you know, maybe four weeks from now I'll start. I will reach out and say, listen, just full disclosure, next month or three months from now it's going to be 200 Right now it's $49. I don't want you to start this business for that reason, but I want, you know, full disclosure, if you, were, if you could do a little bit of work these next few weeks, you know, that might be a benefit. Does that make sense, guys? So we do have that promotion. Uh, another promotion we have is the extended the Founders Circle period. It's no longer August 31st, it's September 31st. Now that's, that's good for a couple of reasons. Number one, it gives us one more month of using that as a dangling carrot, and, and I do use that. Believe me, that, that's what I'm leading with. I'm getting so many people in this business that might not have even done network marketing before because I have this four month window where, where they can change their lives, right? And now network marketing is, we tell people it's a three to five year part-time push to get a significant side income, maybe quit your job. Now, some people can do it six months, but if we're being honest with people, it's three to five years of five to 10 hours a week um, before you can quit your job. But I am using this to pull some people off the fence because it's, it's, a, it's a limited opportunity, right? Um, the end of September, Brian, come and go. Oh, good, man. Brian, you have till January 31st to, oh, to hit that. It? And anybody has till January 31st to hit that rank. Anybody. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what's really nice. I didn't, okay, that part I didn't see, so. I know, yeah, now your eyes just bugged out. I saw that. <laughs> so what you're saying is no matter who you are in this business, you have until January 31st to hit pay center? That's, that's correct. That's right. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, they want to They want to have a high, originally they were thinking maybe 40, 50 people would make it. Now they're, they're going for 150. They want 150. You know, the people that can hit that rank, um, I, I think cool. we'll probably have more like a thousand. I mean, that's an eternity. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm going to be one of them. I'm, I'm not even going to tell my people that. I want them hitting it in four months, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, well, let's say, I mean, think about it in layers, right? If you remove yourself, think about four people, guys, and help them get to pay center. That's the key. Yep. No, let's forget it, remove ourselves and think about four others, you know? So I guess that still, that still puts it, you know, by the end of September 31st, people will have, new people only have four months. That's correct. They want us to be able to recruit up to that point and then still have a fair shot for them. All right. So guys, if I was you, I would not, I would not use the mentality that I have till January 31st. I mean, my mentality is I have to the end of the month, like the end of this month hit pace set. I'm, we may or may not hit it, but. I always think, right, set those big goals, and you guys can do what you want, but I wouldn't absorb that information and let yourself relax. I would do, I would do what Matt said. 
I would do what Matt said and um, see how many people you can help hit pace setter using that information. That makes sense. That, that's a great, uh, God, that's a great promotion. Um, what else do we got? Because I must have missed some of the other ones. <laughs> Doesn't matter when you hit a rank, you get paid for it. Yeah, no okay, more, with that. yeah, so you, you yeah, do get bonus. paid more for the you know time. Yeah, there's some nice little bonuses up the way too, like for P20, you get 20 bucks, 40, 40 bucks, and so forth. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess they, they put some cash on the table. Every single rank advance now, we're getting some yeah. kind of cash advance, and and um, you know, there is a track, there is a four month track to pay setter where it does pay uh, 200, 418, you know, or 800. Um, and what Matt's saying is you can hit those ranks at any time now if you happen to miss that four-month window and you're still going to get, I think, half the, uh, half the bonus. So those, those are definitely nice. It keeps people getting paid. It keeps people going. Um, so it's definitely some good stuff. All right, guys, why, why don't we dive back into – oh, actually, one last thing. Sorry, I want to talk a little bit about commercial. Now, if you don't have any commercial – if you don't know how to close a commercial deal, don't think you need to. All you need to be able to do is peak interest and hand them off to myself or Matt or Kenny or, um, you know, half the people on this team, the, the Haywoods, uh, Lisa, um, Kennedy. Commercial, we are knocking down some deals. So my wife, Jenny, had a lead into the Southwick Zoo, and then she brought me in. And we just closed a, a, about a million kilowatt deal. And that happened within two weeks from first exposure to getting the information to, to done and in. Uh, we just closed, Eric Reed's group just closed uh, Gentle Dental, uh, which is 60 dental locations. Uh, Matt, I don't know the gentleman in your team, but they just got the LOA, which is the letter of agreement for Roach Brothers Grocery Stores, which I, I hear is about 15, 15 grocery stores, right? It's a lot. Yeah, Todd Weinberg. Yeah. Do you know the kilowatt count on that? I'll look it up. No. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the point here, guys, is you don't need to know large commercial. If you can just simply pique the interest of your place of employment or somebody in your network that is a property manager, this is another lead in as a business partner, by the way. You could lead in with the energy. If you knew somebody as a property manager, say, listen, I have, I have this little side gig where you might be able to like double and triple dip on your entire book of business. I don't, I don't know much about the commercial side, but you, you gotta talk to my business partner, Brian. Like there's your sales pitch, right? You got to talk to my business partner. I have somebody that's an energy expert and we, we might be able to monetize your, your existing business. But you can, you can use a lot of little catchphrases to get them on the phone with one of us and then we'll work on magic and uh, help you guys close these deals. Uh, large commercial soul are the same thing. So uh, I don't want you guys to spend a ton of time, but as you're going through your phone when you're text blitzing today, if that person owns a big business and you might be thinking to yourself, well, I don't think they'd really see the Vive business. Then we can help you craft something to say, like Kenny Haywood did with his, his uh, place of employment, uh, which I still got to follow up on, by the way. I haven't lost that, that lead. I'm still following up. Um, we can help you guys craft something to get some of these commercial deals. Some of the commercial deals in your group are what's going to help you get the volume. That's why they're important. They can be 50 or 100 points, you know? Uh, so it might not be you. It might be somebody in your team. Um, if you can drive your team to get on these webinars, they will hear this information. We can help them text plus. That makes sense. So I just want to talk a little bit about commercial um, as we keep uh, text blitzing here. Does anybody else have a, uh, a text that they're trying to craft they need help with or um, anything at all they need help with? Hey, Brian, I was wondering um, with uh, not having the um, – energy part in Colorado, would you go for the home security? I, I would lead with travel personally. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm building a business all over this country leading with travel. Okay. Um, that's up to you though. It's, it's really what you resonate with. Um, right. some other, um, but, but travel, everybody, most, I shouldn't say everybody, most people travel, but don't, don't think vacation when you think travel. Think business and Think about everything. renting cars, think about taking buses. Um, Anywhere anybody's renting any kind of a room anywhere for any reason, we can discount significant money. And then when you're thinking about travel too, don't necessarily think about those people traveling. Think about maybe those people are broke, but they know people that travel and they could be a business partner promoting travel. Right? 
but you could lead with anything. If I'm talking right. to, if I was talking to a stay at home mom, I'd probably lead with medical. Right. Right. Something, yeah. something that would, you know, if I was talking to a builder, then I would definitely lead with the security because as they okay. build the home or do an addition, they can pitch that. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. Or real estate. Well, that's that's what I love about this guys. There's so many things we can lead with. It's just, it's just crazy, you know? Right. Okay. Um, thanks. Sure. No, I have it up. But uh, one last thing, and then we'll get to the next one. Honestly, though, I am leading every single prospect right now. I am leading with the business first and the product second. Does that make sense? I'm not, I'm not really doing a lot of customer only unless it's commercial. I'm leading with a business idea. Listen, I thought of you. It may or may not be for you. Um, but I know, you know you're a school teacher. You got the summer off. Let me show you this little side gig I got. Now, if that doesn't resonate, it's like, oh, by the way, you know, do you see the value? Would you mind being a, uh, you know, do you see the value in, in the home security or do you see the value in the energy? So um, that's the way a lot of the top recruiters do it. They lead with the business. But uh, Karen, if you're brand new, sometimes it might be easier, more comfortable to lead with a product instead of a business. That's completely fine to do that. It's whatever resonates with you most. We can always go from customer to business partner. Okay. And the reason, the reason why I mentioned that, guys, when I started my career in network marketing, I led, I went out and got customers. I went out and got like 33 customers in two weeks. And six of them ended up becoming business partners. So mm -hmm. I think you, wow. you can lead, you can lead however you're comfortable, if that makes sense. Does anybody else got something they want to or need help with? Right. I just would like to ask you, so what are you, what are you saying to people with travel? when you're leading with travel? Uh, I would reach out um, and just curiosity peeking. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I, I leave with the business so much. It's crazy. But um, most of the people I leave with travel, I already know that they do travel. And I just tell them, listen, I got something I want to run by you. It may or may not be a fit, but uh, it's something I'm using uh, in my business that's saving us a ton of dough on our, on our business travel. Uh, same, same type of phraseology. I'm not sure if it's for you or not, but I have something that's worth taking a look. I'm using it. Those, those type of things, you know. Yeah, I think um, I think it is important to let. This has been my experience anyway. To let people know if they have a very specific place that they're looking for, it may or may not. Um, it may or may not be in there, right? If yeah. they're more flexible around where they want to stay or where they want to go. That's where I personally am seeing the savings. There's actually some hotels that are not available for people that I've spoken to that are, that are trying to book. Yep. Um, and then I think you also, um, this is just some of my feedback and I, I shared it with um, Jenna today so she could give it to corporate as well. But when you're booking, there's a lot of different room descriptions and they don't always have an actual description. So definitely go through reservations, call, and they'll work with you. And at the end of the day, I mean, we just saved six hundred dollars, over six hundred dollars, on the trip that we booked to Florida. So right. the savings are definitely there. I just think um, you have to verify some information. And if it's somebody again who's looking for something very specific, they may not exactly get what they're looking for. However, the reward credits and all the other services that are in there. I mean, there's there's all kinds of services within that travel membership. But definitely make no, it. That's a great point. Honest, I can, I can, I can speak to that. I can speak to that a little bit as far as mentioning because you, you hit it right on the head. But what you're highlighting is no different for Price, Priceline or Expedia. Every travel service out there has a particular book of business where they do volume discounts. So every, you know what you were saying about um, certain things not being in um, in the travel program. We will also have rooms and discounts and things that Priceline won't have. So. Every service out there has that same sort of phenomenon. So I, when I'm showing somebody that, I'll, I'll say the exact same thing, full transparency. You know, eight out of 10 times we can save you, not 100%, right? And I say the same thing. If you're looking for a specific boutique hotel, you're better off calling that hotel directly. Whether you use Priceline or us or anybody else, you're still better off calling that hotel directly. But like I go to Vegas a lot and I like to stay at either the Wynn, the Aria, or the Encore. And I can always, always, always find one of those way cheaper than anywhere else. We just booked Vegas, matter of fact, that's why I know. Um, and we just booked Toronto uh, to go train with Bob at a, at, a, at a very specific hotel, and it was on there. Um, but I, I always highlight that. I, what I actually do, guys, I don't do it over the phone, 
anytime I'm selling the travel as a uh, customer or for the business, I do a Zoom meeting and I show them. I have them pull up anywhere they want in the world and I'll pull up Priceline and I'll pull up whatever and I'll pull up Paris and I'll show them out of the top hotels and then I'll find and I'll start to match. Right, because you're, you're 100% right, Lisa. If somebody has a very specific hotel in downtown, you know, I don't know, Boise, Idaho or something, they might not even show up as a discount. But that's, that's not, a, that's not a, a problem with our service. That's an industry-wide thing. It, it might not show up on Priceline either. Does that make sense? I was waiting because Chase is. No, no worries. <laughs> here. Um, no, it definitely makes sense. I've just, I've had some very close encounters in the last week or so. And yeah. I, I wanted to throw it out there because I, I, you know, you're telling people that, which is great, but um, I may have, I may have missed that piece along the way. So I just needed to go back and re-inform some people, which is fine. But at the end of the day, the savings are there. Oh yeah, you know I mean? 100%. But, yeah. 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 So guys, I guess the, the moral of that story is that when I sell, when I lead with the travel, I do it on a Zoom meeting and I actually do a demonstration. And I, I have them pick the place. I've had people pick Ireland and, and Indonesia and all over the world. I'm always able to show, like, if you look at the top 10, we'll, we'll you know, if we, if we match the same hotel, we'll beat them. And, but I tell them full disclosure, if you have this boutique little hotel that you like, we, they may not be on there. So I, I do a visual demonstration and 10 out of 10 times I can show it, you know, transparently, honestly, I tell them that, you know, we don't really save much money on flights. If at all, you're probably better off booking your flight somewhere else. I highlight the strengths and I, I'm fully transparent about what we can and cannot do. And when I do that, people sign up. They, they realize it's like, okay, this is a service. It's bundled in with these eight other services. And eight times out of 10, um, I'm going to be able to save a ton of dough with it. And then when we're, when we're fully transparent, fully, you know, uh, we explain it fully, then they know what they're getting. So, I'd like to add to that real quick. You know, for Brian, it's the travel. And for me, I've been, I've been really wrapping my head around the security. You know, it's, yeah. it's really what resonates with you and this is why it's so important that you not only just sign up for the bundle and, and get every single one of our products so you understand what they are and what they do and how they work uh because there are people that just swear by the medical you know something that i knew nothing about until i you know figured it out a little bit so it really um has to you got to feel good about what you're doing too you know you might find your go-to thing and, and keep in mind that when one of these is sold or one of them uh, someone purchases or, or signs up for one service, yes. there, will, there be, will be the rest of in front of them. They're going to see that, you know, so they, they will have access to get more information on those other ones without you necessarily having to push them, you know, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, oh, Matt, I, would, I would actually go so far as to say, you know, if you're on this webinar and if you desire to reach the rank of pace setter, I will go so far as to say that you will not reach pace setter unless you have a bundle because you won't know what you're missing and how to use it, how the apps work, how they tie in. You won't be able to explain it or sell it and we'll be missing out on some of the biggest features. I would say it's, a, it's an equation, right? It, you, you guys, uh, we all have to be, um, we all have to be educated to the point of understanding the products we're marketing. You don't have to have a PhD in it, but we need to experience it. We need to, um, you know, we need to understand this stuff. So if you're trickling in and you're just, hum, you know, limping along with autopilot and thinking you're going to get the pace setter without getting a bundle and understand this, you know, like I said, this is, this is a straight talk, you know, a straight talk webinar. It's not going to happen, you know. But also well, it's the. Not, it's not duplicatable either. I'm it's sorry. not duplicatable. That's, the people that are coming in are going to ask you, well, what'd you do? No. Well, I just signed up for autopilot. Okay, well, I'll just sign up for autopilot. It's not, it's. You know, people are going to do what you, what you do. So if you, if you want to be able to sell the bundle, you have to have the bundle, you know, so if you want to, if you want to build a big business, you know, that's. Yeah. But right now in this contest period, I'm personally looking at the security because it gives me the most points. Sure. <laughs> so I'll be honest with you. I mean, it, it's a quick, easy conversation and it gives you the most value. It's also the biggest upfront bonus other than large commercial solar and some of those other things, but a simpler, you know, a close that can happen anywhere. You know, you, you call on a Monday and they might, they might actually get it installed before the end of the week. That's how quick these guys are and efficient. So um, it, it pays the, the bonus money up front and then gives you the most points. So you want to think about that. I mean, the guys out in the team out in Maryland, uh, you know, 
couple of weeks back through in 20 within the team in one week period. Um, just imagine what that does for points. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And eight, eight points each on a low note, you know, if everybody, you know, your personal is more. But, uh, Matt, what's your, what's your approach with that? I was just going to say, yeah, Matt, what, what did you do to uh, peak interest on those? I, I simply ask people outright, you know, uh, do you have a home security, you know, or home automation? Can you unlock your doors from your, um, from your phone? So I personally don't have the system yet, but I can already visualize when it, when I do have it, that I'll be able to show someone a, uh, my, my camera on my phone of my backyard and say, look at that squirrel running across the, you know what I mean? Just, just for a conversation starter. Do you know what I mean? Or, or look at the front door and look at the mailman just came to my, and things like that just fascinate me personally. And I'm not saying it's going to relate to everybody, but, um, you know, I, I think there's easy ways to take some, you know, get a, you know, do a poll and, and kind of see who might be open uh, or, or just a questionnaire for a few people. Hey, just wondering, do you happen to have a security system? You know what I mean? Something like that. Sure. Do they do these security? Go ahead, Joe. Do they do the security with businesses too? Small, no. small, small a, businesses. Yeah, small, anything tiny. In fact, I would just call on, unless it's massive, no. But uh, they're willing to do it in my business. So, I, right. yes. Thanks. I'm obsessed with security. They were just at my house again today. Huh. Um, you got every light now, right? I got more stuff. <laughs> like I did, I got more stuff and they're coming back next week too. Like, because it's, I don't know, it's kind of addicting, but they, they're really, really awesome. They take really good care of the beef consultants. So, cause they are so excited about this, um, working with us, you know? So like they, the first time they came, they, the guy came in and he's like, I just want to let you know. Um, he's like, you get to pick what it is that you want. And I'm going to, I'm going to install the basic stuff. That's part of your plan, but I'm here to take care of you. And I got strict instructions that I am to spoil you. And I am to give you whatever you ask for because we want you to be happy. We want you to sell and we want you to tell everybody you talk to that it is so good. So whatever you want, ask. And I didn't even ask for extra stuff, but I got a lot of extra stuff like they came to install a new doorknob today and he came upstairs and he's like, just want to let you know the doorknob I just installed, we don't sell that to people. That's like top of the line. You got the best thing. I was like, seriously? He's like, oh yeah. Until I told you, you got premium package. So I can show people that and talk about how awesome it is. And I talk about how cool the automation is. And I I talk about it a lot. So the best thing to, to do to sell it is to be a customer because you're going to fall in love and you're going to talk about it like crazy. Okay. I'm done. Rant, rant. That's all good. So you guys, uh, is everybody still texting? So I want to make sure the idea of tonight is to get to 30 texts. Or the, the, I should say 30, 30 texts or the amount of appointments you want this week. And my, my calendar is booked, booked, all, booked week, all week, so I'm not actually texting at all right now. But so make sure you don't book 400 appointments, you know. <laughs> but the idea, especially if you're new, you, it might take 30 texts. To book three or four appointments is my point. But if you if you've booked your calendar solid, um, then that's good, you know. Hey Brian, so um, I have a question. I got a contract I'm doing a job for right now in York, sure. York, Maine. And how do I approach him? Uh, I want him to be, become a consultant or a customer. I, I should say a consultant um, sure. or a customer. 
how can I approach them both ways um, in you one? Can. I would do one or the other. One of, just start off with the consultant, then then yes. go the other way. Yeah, yeah. A guy like that. I mean, I, to me, everybody. I'm just I'm looking to build a massive team. If somebody says no, I said, do you see the value in being a customer? You know what I mean? Let me, let me protect you a little bit on the energy bill or some of this other stuff. Exactly, exactly. And uh, and I'm I'm on the same boat as uh, Matt too, as far as security. Even though my mother saved i believe about seventy thousand dollars last year through um another company um for the travel yep i still think the security i'm i'm pitching a lot of people the security if you well, yeah, i mean you're in the you're in the trades i mean you're in construction you, you should be i would have derek one thing i'm doing on my website i'm adding a whole home security page to my bmk construction and yep. i'm adding i'm adding an energy page too it just looks like BMK is, is expanding some more construction related services. Exactly. And if and you were um, if you were to get off your button, hire Miss Tata as a full time assistant, she could help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Derek. She will. She will. <laughs> um, and uh, if you had your if if you your house has been broken into too, like you you definitely will get the security system, especially uh, for the amount i mean you can't go wrong so right right hey corey do you know if is the security system something you can take with you to another house um you can have it taken down and taken to a new house yes aha uh -huh. they actually they actually recommend you leaving the main unit on the wall even though it's it's a wireless unit so that way they can get more customers oh uh -huh. yeah yeah. I don't have my unit on the wall. I have a desktop mount. Oh yeah, I, I didn't know that was even an option. I didn't so. want it on my wall. Why? What? Why do I want a screen on my wall? I already have like a sixty-five. Uh, I don't know. Every security system I've ever seen was on a wall, so no. I, didn't, I didn't know that was an option. That's cool. Buyout too. Oh yeah, do you guys know about the buyout for homes? Yes. I do. Okay. I do. I do. That's that's awesome too. He knows. What's that? When you when you buy out certain pieces of it to put to keep the monthly rate lower? No. If you already have or your customer already has security system, Alliance will buy out their plan. Oh. Get them as a customer. Up to so, three hundred fifty bucks. Okay. Well, no. I just talked to somebody last week that got um a buyout for like just over 500. Yeah, I was told 350, maybe they'll push it to 450, but don't don't bet on it. I, I guess you just ask, it doesn't hurt yeah. to ask, you know. What are they they're, not buying out, they're not buying out my, 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 my work policy for 1400 that yeah. they said no. Awesome, so who's got, uh, who's got more than 10 texts? I've sent out a bunch, probably. And like I said, listen, if your calendar's booked, you know, you, you win by default, you know? <laughs> Mr. Haywood, you got 10, huh, brother? I don't have 10. I have nine. Oh, I'm not muted. Hold on. Oh, it's okay. I've it's got 14 out there, and we just got a customer as well. Oh, nice. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to be um, signing somebody up this week, also. Very cool. So now you got, uh, now one thing, hey, listen, one thing you guys can do when you're fast start training your people, play this video if you want. You know what I mean? We got this recording. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. My, parents are, my parents are getting the bundle today, so we'll be taking care of that. Oh, very cool. Amanda's parents just got it this afternoon as well, so. I meant to mention about the uh, Thursday in uh, Marlboro, Mass. Yeah, Most why don't of you us do that? here know. Why don't you do that before we close out, brother? The the word is out, though. Originally, they were keeping it a closed meeting for a couple lines, but it looks like uh, word is out. So um, I'm recommend obviously everybody bring a guest, but um, try to share um, the business with them prior. Um, obviously, a better exposure would be face to face, or you know. Through video one-on-one -on -one before a large event but 
our event and it is going around if anybody needs the info just let me know but it is seven o'clock thursday six o'clock meet and greet seven o'clock kicking out kicking it off and it's at uh, 75 felton street in marlboro right off of 495 and route 20 at the courtyard maria uh, rob mcfadden's coming down for that event um, I can promise you, you know, that if you have a couple people that are, are somewhat a little bit knowledgeable or have been exposed to this information, you get them there, um, it'll be enough information that for them to make a decision. They can get around some other people in the business and kind of feel the vibe and uh, we'll welcome everybody. And, and, and this time next, uh, next week, we should have um, a bunch more people on this as well. So good stuff. And a couple more things, uh, guys, little house cleaning. Um, you know, we're already thinking about the GoPro Mastery in December. We already got a bunch of tickets. Uh, for those of you guys that are looking to get the pace setter, uh, my recommendation is for you to, you and 10 people in your team to go. It's not just about you going. You want to you wanna have 10 of your leaders uh, going. And if you don't have 10 people in your team yet, we want a future think. Right? This is December. So um, I've talked to some of you guys about, um, you know, getting 10 packs for your team, maybe doing promotions, people that reach out, you know, rank up the pace set, or maybe you, you know, maybe you invest in your team and in your business and you say, anybody, anybody that ranks up the pace setter gets a free ticket to the, uh, the GoPro Mastery in Vegas. Uh, we're running some promotions. I think, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we're doing um, the first three pace setters get a free ticket. And if somebody ranks up, I forget what we said, we were going to, was it the silver partner or what did we say? I might have to check the recording on that. It was. Yeah. Um, I think we said the first three pace setters get tickets, but then the um, I, I, first, first silver partner gets a, an all expenses paid trip, hotel, flight, everything. I think, uh, look, but I think you're right. It's something like that. The, yeah. the key is get the pace setter. Yeah, just get the pace setter. <laughs> But listen, guys, like I said, if you're leading a team, you might want to think about doing some of the same things. I mean, now our goal is to have 100 people there. But we're looking for leaders. I'm not buying 100 tickets. We're looking for leaders to, you know, step up and, um, and promote and uh, build. I can promise you this. The people that you get there um, will come back and lead and build, you know, and, and really, really see it. It's pretty, pretty um, enlightening when you're sitting next to like a 28-year-old kid from Denmark that's making $50,000 a month in some other juice network marketing company is it's, it's it's pretty crazy you start to understand the industry and, and the power and and the uh, you know 250 billion dollar industry global industry that we're in you know plus it's a lot of fun we had a blast <laughs> awesome guys we're, we're coming up to the top of the hour here has anybody got any last minute questions or comments anything they want to say i want you you know hopefully yeah. and this, this is your business uh, I would recommend that you keep text blitzing until you have the amount of booked appointments that you want to have, you know, don't, uh, don't make the, the minimum your maximums and keep working forward. You have something that. Yeah. The only thing is I'm ready for uh, anybody that needs after you book these appointments, just let me know I'm available. Let's, uh, let's do some three way calls. Awesome. Yeah. Good point. We will, we'll know if you're booking, if we get some calls, right? That's it. That's it. I know Shana reached out to you, right? They're, they're cleaning up. Cleaning up a, uh, yep. We're booked. We're booked with her. So. Awesome. Hey, uh, that might be a kind of a dumb question, but last night I uh, stayed overnight in York beach and I got a uh, four bedroom suite. It cost me $690. How long if I got, if I had the travel package, what would, how long would it take to book? What do you mean? Today. Yeah, like, you what, can sign up for it now and book, book two seconds later. It, it would be that quick within oh, yeah. seconds, minutes, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And when you find out it was only 300 on our site, you're going <laughs> to kick yourself. <laughs> no, well, I, I already have the bundle. I just, I didn't realize it, it would, would have been it's that open. quick. Oh yeah, you're in. Yeah, just you got to go to your back office and just click on it. Give it. Give me your uh, website. I'll, I'll tell me the hotel. I'll book it for you on your own site. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be going back there. But um, yeah, that's it, you guys. I you appreciate. Should have called me yesterday. I know. I, I did call you yesterday. 
<laughs> for that reason. <laughs> uh, All right, guys, make it a great night. Uh, appreciate everybody jumping on. I love the energy and the family and the community we created. You guys all working hard. Everybody's stepping up and leading and just uh, contributing. It's it's really awesome to watch. So I uh, love each and every one of you. We see you guys uh, sometime during the week or next Tuesday. And again, make sure to promote this to your team as as we're building a team, so we can we can help coach and teach and train. All right, guys, make it a great night. God bless. We'll see you soon. Later, everybody. Bye. Have a good night.